I want to be able to follow my dream. Nobody cares about your dreams. You're a grown man. All right, and a new platinum bracelet that will go perfect with my dress. It's a little pricey, but it's not my money. Hey, honey, how was your day? Great, I just got myself a new bracelet for my new dress. Is there a way we'd be able to return it? And why would we do that? Well, today was not a good day. I actually just got laid off from the job. You got laid off? What did you do? Why would they lay you off? God, you always screw up everything. They just laid off 40% of the entire company. But you know what? You know, I think this could actually be a really good thing for us. How could this be a good thing for us? Well, you know how I've always wanted to start my own design company. So instead of getting a new job, you'd become a poor entrepreneur? Well, I think now is as good a time as ever. I mean, look, we don't have any kids, and I have some money saved up. We'll just have to live a little more carefully. I am not willing to live more carefully. Um, and don't you dare even say to get a part-time job. I am not doing that. I want to be able to follow my dream. Nobody cares about your dreams. You're a grown man. Baby, I, I will take care of you. I, I just need a little bit of time to get this company started. Hey, I have the skills to be successful at this. I know I do. Just. Just give me a chance. I'm gonna call my dad and get some money for my trust. I can't even look at you. This will all work out, okay? I promise. You're gonna be sleeping on the couch tonight. Hey, what are you getting so dressed up for? I'm going out and having some fun. I'm tired of being stuck with some deadbeat. Baby, please don't talk to me like that. Oh, he's here. Who's here? Todd, what are you doing here? Well, after you got laid off, I decided to, you know, hitch my wagon to a real man. So I called Todd. Todd, how could you, man? You're my best friend. Sorry, bro. She's always been out of your league. You have better luck next time. Yeah, good luck with your business. I hope you have fun living in your mom's basement. Come on, have fun. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is work. To sum up, Mr. Bromberg, the design firm might be small, but we're the only firm committed to give your company the attention it deserves. Well, I have to say, the numbers are quite impressive. We would love to invest in you. Thank you, sir. You won't be disappointed. Mary, what are you doing here? Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought I'd stop by to see how my favorite entrepreneur is doing. Really? I thought you wanted nothing to do with me. That was before, you know, I saw the article in the Wall Street Journal and, you know, I thought we made a pretty good team. Well, I thought so too. Until I was at my lowest and you left me. For Todd. That was ancient history. I mean, I haven't seen Todd in like weeks. I mean, that was a fling and I think we should go get a drink, you know? I'm sorry, Mary, but I can't do that. You know, you hurt me when you left. I used to think our relationship was more than just about money, but I think I was wrong. And I think you should leave. Come on, you can't do better than me. Yeah, well, I'll take my chances. Dan, come on. Dan. Dan. Dan.